let's look at this equation log of x base 2 equals to x by 2. We want to solve this for x not equal to 2. Of course, if you plug in x equals to 2, you will get equality on both sides because log 2 base 2 is 1 and 2 by 2 is also 1. So both of them are equal left hand side and the right hand side. We want to know whether it is also equal for any other value of x. In fact, that's our goal. Show that there is another value of x. Another value of x. Another solution exists. This problem is from ISI BSTAT entrance 2006. It's the first part of this problem. Problem number 8. We will be using calculus to solve this problem. To do that, let's use a function called the auxiliary function f of x equals to log of base 2x minus x by 2. These functions which we often use in problems like this are known as auxiliary functions. We analyze functions like this to actually find out the solution of equations like this. Why do we do it like that? The main problem with this type of equation is that the two types of functions on two sides are different. In this case, it is logarithmic and polynomial. It could be log and trig. It could be trig and exponential. So there could be variants of this problem. And since the two sides have two different types of functions, it becomes a little bit hard to analyze them by non-calculus methods. You will see how, we'll, how we will use to analyze this using calculus. The first thing is, we notice that x equals to 2 makes fx equals to 0. So you can draw a mini graph of this at x equals to 2, the graph is at 0. Essentially, we'll be drawing the picture of this particular function, the graph of this function. So step 2 is take the derivative of this. So log of base 2x minus x by 2. So the derivative, the first derivative is 1 by ln 2 times 1 over x minus half. That's the first derivative. Now, when is the first derivative 0? When is f prime x equal to 0? Well, it is 0 if 1 by ln 2 times 1 over x equals to half or 1 over x equals to ln 2 by 2 or x is equals to 2 over ln 2. Now, notice that ln e is equals to 1, right? Because that's how logarithm functions. If the base, ln means the base is e, e is equals to 2.7 something. So, ln 2 is equals to 1, ln e is equals to 1, so ln 2 is less than 1. So 2 by ln 2 is greater than 2. So this ratio right here at x equals to 2 by ln 2, this first derivative becomes 0. So I can keep on drawing the picture here. 
2 by ln 2 at this point the derivative becomes 0 okay so what happens after that what happens after 2 over ln 2 so if, if x is greater than 2 over ln 2 this basically means that ln 2 x times ln 2 is greater than 2 or 1 over x by ln 2 is less than 1 over 2 or 1 over x by ln 2 x ln 2 minus half is less than 0 which means that the first derivative is less than 0 this is the first derivative right that's what we got here so after 2 by ln 2 after 2 by ln 2 the first derivative becomes negative and it stays negative it becomes 0 at that point and then it becomes negative the first derivative so the function starts falling now notice that the function could fall in two ways one is like this and the second option is a free fall so if you have learned about analysis of graphs by calculus you know that these are the two different situations described by the second derivative here the second derivative is positive here the second derivative is negative so we want to know which one of these two things happen for our function let's look at the second derivative now so the second derivative f double prime x let's use a different color f double prime x is equals to negative 1 by ln 2 x square So maybe I can just write it in a negative 1 by x squared times ln 2. So this, so therefore f double prime x is less than 0 for all values of x greater than 2 by ln 2. So when x is greater than 2 by ln 2, which is positive, f double prime x is always less than 0. Why? Because it is clearly 1 negative 1 by something positive times again ln2 is positive so this quantity is negative so it's a free fall so we can say that the first derivative is negative which means it's a fall secondly the second derivative is negative which means it's a free fall and it it's a free fall and it keeps on falling that means it will hit the x axis at exactly one point after x by ln2 after 2 by ln2 so this is the other solution okay so try to understand this entire argument there are two parts of the argument first build the auxiliary polynomial and then analyze the first derivative and then analyze the second derivative and then conclude that the graph will be hitting the x-axis at another point there is a second part of this problem maybe you can try it on your own the question is this this is part two find out all real numbers find all real numbers C such that such that log x base 2 by x is equal to C has exactly one solution exactly one real solution a very similar method will be applicable 
we have to find all such real numbers c such that this equation has exactly one real solution. You can try this and send the solution to helpdesk at chinta.com helpdesk at chinta.com and as usual we will be forwarding some access to the Chinta Genius app based on the responses that we receive. Keep on doing great mathematics and I will see you in the next one.